And this, the map picker team spirit, they're going to be beginning over here on the T side, Hugo. Damn right, Harry. T side start. Bit of utility as well. And they go fast out long. Astralis don't contest them there. Set up leaning towards the B bomb site. Even getting lucky into position with a cat boost. He's going to be able to grab info mid early. Bubski going to call for those rotates soon enough. Maybe a bit of a run boost here coming along. But Spirit are in no hurry. Spotting. Finally, the smoke start to land. Bubski's made the call, and you can already see those adjustments Astralis are making. Pulling CTs on over. Lucky even doubling back, and it's magic to try and lead the way into the bomb site. Do pretty quick tap, and Lucky gets dinked back, pushed into the short side as Astralis set up for a retake. Bombs going down, and all the advantage in the hands of the Danes. Yeah, Dupree's just waiting up here towards Elevator. He's crouched down. Look at him. It's like he's, it's like he's broken. Here he is trying to move on in. Dexter's going to tap out matches. Dupree, quiet. And there's a double. We'll get taken care of. Dexter laying waste to Astralis. Lucky low on health in a 1v2. And this is a bit of a trial by fire for the guy. Ooh, up and over, but he can't quite deal with Dexter. Great round from this guy to open up. Four kills from him. And that's going to be the pistol locked in for Team Spirit, Hugo. And that was a big question today, Harry. It's like, De Dexter, is he going to show up? Is he going to look good, right? He may have struggled back on land for Spirit, but here online, this is where this guy, this is where this guy formed. This is where we expect to see him performing. And in the pistol round, he waits no time. Dropped over a P250 and four frags in it to start. It's a lovely start for Team Spirit. You love it when they drop over a P250 to the frag, and they've got faith in Dexter, and for good reason. Scouts are out. Astralis has decided to pause. Deeks up on long and Magisk. Ugh. It's a messy tap. He'll finally get taken down. Survived far too long, but the Flash has helped him out there. Bubsky's now trapped up at car. Astralis, they were double B. They're already starting to pull away. It's obviously a long take again. Yeah, I, I still feel gross after watching the uh, the <laughs> attempted dig tap from Magisk. <laughs> and now, look, now you've got this uh, this long control kind of hanging in the balance, Team Spirit. They've got the scout set up in pit, and Dexter has once again removed one of these A-site players. Bobski can't find a thing. He's cleared at the car. Dupree is pushing it through the lower tunnels, mate. He is a long way away from playing into this round. So Glaive is all alone. Make no mistake about it. It's going to take something remarkable here to ever even make you consider attempting this round. Glaive's running for the hills. Dupree's too far away. And Team Spirit, they don't know it yet, but this round is as good as done. Yeah, even making sure that no one's hanging around for Astralis. Quick pop into spawn. You know, if you were going to try and activate this flank, that's why Glaive's backed up. The longer he lives, the more chance Dupree has to do something, right? More eyes of spirit are considering spawn, are considering catwalk. But once it's a 1v4, you've got more than enough manpower to cover every position. That's still the case now. And Astralis won't be moving in to take down any more players, hoping to grab exits on the retreat. And some of these rifles are tagged up. So there's a chance for the Deeg and the Scout. But Astralis know in the back of their mind, they're really looking to essentially replay this round, right? Come back in with another Deagle, another Scout, and some USPs. It won't be pretty. It should be a 3-0 for Team Spirit. Well, Hugo, Don De Esta, your predictions, right? Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get your thoughts on this game. Okay. Now, while this little just save is going on in pit, are you leaning any strong way? What's the Hugo Byron take? Okay, well, like you know, I rate Astralis, uh, even though yeah. they're, they're, <laughs> it's well, not a controversial. Yeah, it's a safe, it's yeah. a safe call. Uh, that being said, though, I am going a different direction here. Okay, right? I am leaning okay. in the way of Spirit for this series simply because, well, the online factor I, I certainly think plays in. Obviously, Lucky's a new addition, right? I, no doubt they've put in time, they put in work over the player break. But so have Spirit, and I mean, Chad was talking about this earlier, but you know, Spirit have been putting in the hours, man. Y you can't go on Twitch without seeing Magic's playing FPL. He's doing it day. He's doing it night. Does the guy even sleep? I don't know. And yeah, in, in terms of individuals, spirit, we're already seeing them looking pretty rare and to go, pretty warmed yeah. up. Yeah, I mean, you know, something that I, that I think is probably going to help Team Spirit out a good deal here is they've had a little bit of time away, man. Like, these guys were playing a hell of a lot, you know. They they, they kind of followed in, in, in a similar pattern to what we saw out of teams like Big and Heroic in 2020, where where they, they focus on, like, really upping their level in a short space of time, and that means playing a hell of a lot, putting a lot of hours yeah. in, and with that comes, like, an eventual exhaustion, you know. Like, it's hard to keep keep this level up and you know I'm hoping that now that they've had a bit of time away you know we could we that that could be the remedy for someone like Dexter who has maybe struggled with consistency 
maybe that's how we get a return to form for them. It's a beautiful setup, Harry, but I do want to hear what you think is going to happen in this series. I do want okay. a name out of you. Yeah. Like, it can't just be me locking in a prediction. No, that's fair enough, Hugo. That's fair enough. I did try and give you like a politician answer there. Yeah. You know, I just said a just bunch of Just give me a name. Give me a team. And, uh, for me, I'm also going to get on the team spirit bandwagon. Well, you're certainly safe for this round at least. Five on one. It's looking good, right? Oh, so, well, well uh, you know, Bobski, he's uh, he's hanging around. Yeah, Maybe he an grabs AK. an AK. That's an AK. Bye -bye. That's They're mid right. already, though. So. Uh, he's out. He's still going. For Come now. on. Oh. Oh, there it is. They hunt him down. You know it was going to happen. It was just a question of when, not so much here. Now we have that 3 0 lead for Team Spirit. But yeah. the money is there for the side of Astralis. They're going to be coming in with the guns now. Yeah. And maybe we even get to have a taste of this lucky AWP. They've already been mastercrafting this rifle round, right? They've had three, or essentially two ecos to just chat it over, to sit in the B bomb site, to work out that what they want to do. They've seen some tendencies already towards long for Spirit. So let's see what Astralis want to throw in here. Still a scout on Dexter, right? Money's there. Spirit running essentially a bonus in that way, but uh, they're looking to get a free AWP instead. They'll find it on the A site. Lucky sat back watching for a mid to beat. Glaive's moved in to allow him to watch the catwalk and utility is going out into A, but don't be fooled, it's not a commitment. Spirit are, tr are trying to get that utility out of Astralis. They're not budging. Astralis not falling for this, holding it onto mollies and smoke still. So Spirit will have to do a little bit more than that if they want to force Astralis' hand. Yeah, but the old saying is, you know, slow and steady wins the race. And right now they are just working some of this mid control. And how can he get given anything, right? Dupree is down here in middle, but, he, but he's not looking for a fight here. This isn't really an engagement he's keen to take. He's just watching for the CT push. And so at the very, very least, right, if this play comes in towards Cat, if this is just the, the standard Cat exec with the smoke going down, the molly's now raining over, it looks like it. Dupree's at least here pretty quickly and is able to help out. It's all going to come down to what luck he can do with this AWP, right? Is he able to find anything? Well, he's already been flashed off. He's already set up to play retake now. This is a five-on-five five retake in at the A bomb site, and these always get a little bit weird, especially with guys like Chopper ready to cut down these rotations out of Astralis as they move in through middle. Luckily enough, they've grouped everyone up in CT. Oh. I say lucky enough, mate. Magix has doubled down. Suddenly, the, the, the script's been flipped, and oh my word, Team Spirit. In a matter of seconds, everybody's been deleted for Astralis. And that round looked like it always was going to fall comfortably into the Team Spirit ranks. Yeah, they just had so much space, right? They knew their cat flank was open, or, or covered rather, it wasn't open. Magix was able to jump up, fight CT. Dexter just flexing as well, running the Deagle over the scout in that round, and he finds kills in the post bar. That's such a shame for Astralis. You'll notice at that retake in the 5-on-5, five five, Magix and Glaive both had full utility. They had Molly, Smoke, Nade. They were ready to retake. They were cooling that one, but they never got a chance to use them. Quick kills from Spirit, and now another fast long take. We know they love Dust too, and we're already seeing the reason why. Astralis put back to pistols, and Glaive, he was caught on that mid cross. Mears holding up a tunnels, the rest of Spirit just sitting out long again. Seems to be their game plan right now for the T side, and I can't blame them. Nothing is putting a stop to it. Maybe the Magis Scout could do something on that A site, but Dex is looking to take him down with the orb. Oh dear, missed shot. Second time around is perfect though, and now Dexter, he can own the angle, he can just hold on, let his team move up on the long position. Yeah, this should just be a, another clean round for Team Spirit. You're, you're going to be hard pressed to find anything here with the flashes raining in. That's a free Ooh. easy kill. Sure, Dupree gets one nice one, but oh. look at this. He's Almost, wrapped in through mate. middle. Almost. And Mir doubles down. I was never worried. I was never <laughs> worried, Hugo. 5-0 and oh for Team Spirit. Coming into this, you know, we said the last times these teams faced, it was back at Katowice. It was all for a shot, either the semi or quarterfinals. Now, that series ended up going the way of Team Spirit. That was back with Device in the squad, right? And... Uh, and there it ended 16-1 on Dust 2. It was a huge deal. If you were watching it, it looked like, you know, for the longest time, Team Spirit were about to 16-0 Astralis, and that would have been huge. 
Um, so what you're saying is there's I, room for improvement. Well, so what I was going to say is, like, wouldn't it be wild just run with me down this... Uh, ah, 5-0, you know, yeah. yeah. 5-0, right? I don't want to I don't want to get ahead of myself, but... <laughs> this is how you jinx it, Harry. Quick kill out long for Glaive. Nice shot from Mir. He does get the trade, and his teammate's out behind the blue, but Bubsky knows. Smoke down on the Molotov to keep Sundar Young alive, and he has the option to escape if he wants. He does not. Hanging around, knowing Bubsky's trapped pit side. He has a molly, but everyone's played Counter-Strike. The second you pull that out, you know you're getting peaked. He waits in the smoke to throw it. Lucky's moved in. Yeah. Bubsky now has cover. He doesn't need to make a move here. He can wait on Lucky's contact to swing. Dexter's doing the same. Locking down the long angle. Smoke will cut off Lucky. This is a great play from Spirit. Oh. And Bubsky gets hounded down. Lucky, what can he even do here? Oh. Nothing. <laughs> As the smoke shot comes in for Sundai Young, it's another perfect round out of Team Spirit. Yeah. Astralis are trying to rotate in through B, but Spirit are in no hurry. Not even close, baby. Uh oh, oh, never mind, never mind. Dexter's dead to Dupree, and suddenly this round is back up in the air again. No smoke. Yeah, you're not over the line yet, and it's about to get a lot more dangerous. There's a lot of peril involved in trying to get across here without the smokes. They threw the bomb. To who? Oh, oh Magisk. Oh, trying his best. Loads nice. of damage. Some die young will get knocked out, and so it's Chopper left in this clutch. 1v2. Dupree's been spotted up on short. Chopper will have a Ooh. chance to get the bomb down at least, but utilities coming in. The molly. Oh, it does force him wide. And Magisk is going to lock in the round for Astralis. Great stuff out of him there. He was 0-5 coming into that round. He nails the shot onto the crossing player and then closes it out for the squad as well. Yeah, then more and more rounds of seeing these B players for Astralis do a really good job of saving the utility there. That's what really gets them going in that retake. Otherwise, Chopper has a really good chance of isolating 1v1s on the headshot angle. The orb is in a scary position there on Dupree. So, yeah, uh, you know, really, really nice round out of Astralis on the board, Harry, breaking the curse, breaking the streak, and ruining the 16 0 dream. I think that's your fault. Yeah. Danes can thank him for a change, jinxing the other way. The Spirits still have plenty of money in the coffers. They can continue to rebuy on this T side, back to the long position potentially. They've been all over it so far. Astralis decided to put numbers in this spot. Three with a flashbang. Dexter takes the timing shot. He finds nothing. Be a good round to try one of those B executes, but right now Spirit are just ambling about in spawn, clearing the middle area. I will smoke. say, I will say this much: the yeah. initial eye test, right, of Team Spirit, like th this, is kind of the recipe for a Team Spirit victory, right? You know, admittedly, still early days. There's still times for things to either get better or get worse, right? That's kind of the nature of time, but. You know, right now, Dexter looking really, really good. He's been so key since he's done this sort, man. The control he's been able to take out towards those long doors, the kind of, you know, space he's been able to create for his team, unrivaled. And uh, it's certainly promising, seeing as we were kind of building this guy up to be the linchpin for Team Spirit. Well, he's got his work cut out for him with this double orb on the other side. Well, that's an interesting conversation in and of itself, right? The double AWP. Maybe one for later. Seems like this might be the execute. The Molly does throw a spanner in the works here for Spirit. They have to slow down. They will still commit behind these smokes. They don't have a whole lot left up. Glaive has gotten himself into a little cubby corner, hoping they don't clear it, and no one's oh. seen a thing. Oh. This could be naughty. Lucky flashing up for Glaive. Oh. They don't check. Magisk gets blind. Magic gets blind, rather, but he still gets the kill. Lucky now forced back to the long position. Astralis's retakes on A have been troublesome at times. Bubsky wants to throw himself into the fray. Bombs going down with just enough time. Spirit have so much map control, they can back up to Cat. This might even force a save for Astralis. They don't look interested. So that double or parry. Yeah, I was going to say, right? Like, you know, you, you think about uh, <clears throat> when when Device first left this team, what we saw happen with the orping, right? It was basically everyone donning it at yeah, some point in time. Uh, Zip even had that little clutch, but he was, you know, never buying it up himself, even though, you know, sorry, even then, not in the service, we don't have to worry about him right now. Uh, you know, we, we, we've seen everyone else don the AWP, namely, I think it would be Glaive and Dupree yeah. as like the two that spring to mind. But it's interesting to see how they're going to divvy this up now with Lucky in the, uh, in the roster today. And we got this Dupree-Lucky combo early on. Yeah, it's just so much pressure on Lucky, right? You've got to think about the uh, the player he's replacing. It's going to be no easy feat. But the young guns, Harry, they're certainly hungry for places right now. I think it's it's worth mentioning as well. So many of these teams, so many of these UP, but uh, it's something to keep in the back of your head, something for the future. Right now, in the present spirit, are controlling the game.
The big save out of Astralis keeps the double up. Lucky's handed his over to Glaive, but it's only for a spawn. They swap back. Long is taken by Astralis. This gives him a lot more room to breathe in this round. Spirit is defaulting. In no hurry yet again, trying to once more force utility from the hands of Astralis. And they're pretty unsuccessful in their endeavors. One molly out mid, but the A players hold firm. And in the B players get stuck in. Dupree puts his orb right through the tunnels and might even call for Magist to move up alongside him. Still wary of a mid to B. The Spirit likely going to telegraph that play if they were to go for it. Instead, looking like an eventual A split. Oh, but Just making know, sure your back line's not open. Yeah, they will swap a player down, down into lower. Some die young and mere. Trade in places. The fact they're still keeping a lower tunnels player really makes me start to wonder if this yeah. is actually destined to be the mid to be. And looks yeah, it like looks it. like it, right? They're throwing that mid to be smoke in now. They crept out through the doors. Blade oh. gets that information ahead of time. And ooh, the flashes, they're going to leave the player up close and Majisk blind. But he still takes one to the grave with him. This mid to be is shut Whoa. down. It's dead in the water, mate. This is not a mid to be anymore. This is a recovery mission. They're going to try and bail out through the lower tunnels, join back up with some die young, but he can't get past Dupree's AWP in this B bomb site. And so for Dexter, it's a bit of a sad reality, but yep. it's one where he just has to write this round off and save that AWP. So Astralis do pull through with a second round. Yeah, and you know, just to go back on the point of utility, right? Astralis, this name is synonymous with incredible utility over there. The years of, of, you know, the Astralis era, that was what we pointed to so many times. But it's not just the fact that the utility is valuable, it's, it's why it's valuable. It's because they don't, you know, uh, fall for your fakes. They don't get caught off guard. They're so good at saving it to the last possible second, not only to the retake, but just getting it down at the right moment there. Molly's down into middle, trap team spirit in position, nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, and Astralis managed to trade their way in mid to a win. Plenty of money on Dexter right, that's why he didn't want to save, but an unwinnable round in that one on four. And so the Astralis double orb continues as they take a second round, and now Spirit maybe wanting to kick up the pace a notch, setting fully towards the B-bomb site. But look who's here. Ooh, Lucky throwing up on this boost, him and Dexter, they almost collide. But in the end, both players remain unscathed from that first attempt at the fight. And Team Spirit, you know, they kind of move away from this idea of hitting B now. You know, they, they start to default out. They're holding this uh, the long doors, making sure they're not getting pushed. They're going to try and take mid and cat. Now, the bomb is still left down in lower. And uh, that's now the responsibility of Degster to keep an eye on it. Gives them the option to go back to B if they don't like what they see over towards this A side of the map. Okay, this is all a bit of a ruse. Maybe Magix even drops into spawn here. They're setting him up for it. Flashes go in and Magix now trying to cut off one side of this mid to B play. It means Team Spirit can go for the same play. But they only need to worry about the B bomb site and boy, do they need to worry. Two men inside. Magic still with utility. Glaive's going to drop his smoke. Magic's waiting for that window drop. Meanwhile, Magix, the other Magix, is cutting off rotations over on yeah. the A site. Lucky's dead. Bombs are loading up, but that's a danger, but no one's watching it. Magisk going to push in through. If he can get this kill, he can win the round alone in this three on five. But he turns back and chop a sideline and five on two. And Spirit looking like a lock in here. We've still got Magix in CT spawn. And so Astralis hard pressed to save. But Bubsky will just get out of there alive. Uh oh. Chance to take some to the. No. <laughs> Optimistic. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, hey, if it hit, we all would have said, like, oh, remember that no scope from Dupree right down the mate. mid door. Imagine. Oh, Crack it. <laughs> right, so. <laughs> It's uh, it's another it's another team spirit round. Something I, I'm finding interesting here, right, is Lucky with this AWP playing over towards Crossroads yeah. over in that A-bomb site. Well, obviously, we used to have, you know, the, the million dollar man in device over towards this side of the map, right? He used to be so proficient at holding down this Crossroads. You know, there's that there's that clip of it where he has the ace burning in the Molotov, yeah. man. Like, th th he, he was incredible at it. Then, oh my god, oh, okay, so exits. all the guns are yeah. taken away as well. well. We'll revisit that in a second. Then, when Device left and we had, you know, Glaive donning the AWP a lot of the time alongside Dupree, oftentimes it would be him holding down that crossroads area. Yeah. Even he was pretty proficient at it thus far. 
Lucky hasn't been able to find much from the crossroads. And a lot of these A rounds have come down to like retakes in in four on fives, in five on fives. And that's a very, very rough spot to be in. Yeah, you need that AWP at the crossroads to be getting one if you want to then commit to that retake setup. Yeah, that was uh, the point I was just going to make. Maybe I'll save it for a rainy day because we do have a, a quick long take again for Spirit out behind the blue boxes and Glaive cordoned off by more smoke grenades. Bubsky still trying to fight for his life, but just shooting into dead space good molotov forcing smokes out of spirit they throw two both players panic it's a good bit of teamwork but it does cost them utility and they don't have much left of it boost over blue magic's looking for this opener but it's glade to pick him off providing cover for bubsky who's still just being a nuisance swinging in and out left and right good night finally gone his teammates will evade the situation, escaping in a four on four and setting back up in the bomb site now this is the time for spirit to slow down to recuperate to figure out what they've got, and it's not a lot. Two smokes and a couple of mollies as well. Don't even have flashes to get these orbs off the angle. And you're know, going back to that point on orb. Yeah, I mean, think of the old days. It used to be so easy to sit card, kill four guys coming up catwalk into that A site with ease. Well, nowadays, it's just so punishing. The, the double smoke crosses, the amount of flashbangs. You'll be happy if an orb gets one kill on car and backs up to long in a five mm -hmm. on four to play retake. So, yeah, Lucky, at least in those positions so far, has often been flashed off, often been cut out by utility. But such is the way of Dust2 right now. Oh, that's more like it. Lucky with a flick. Run boost okay. denied. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, man, if Lucky can deliver a little bit more like that, or maybe, maybe Astralis can put a stop to this long take okay. after all. Glade, there's a little oh, gap no. there, and no, Chopper no, no. tries to go back in the second time around. Oh. Lucky is just smiting them. When he's, uh, when he's given these clean fights out in the yeah. open on A-Man, he'll nail the shot, he'll make it happen. He catches the run boost as well with a nice little flick. And so there's... Cool. So just sticking with it for this round, and, you know, nothing wrong with that, right? We, we've all, you know, you've already talked about this as well. The, the amount of players on this team who can don that AWP, certainly not shabby. Again, Magic's always a nuisance out long. The Molly falls a bit short this time around, and so he will stand tall. Three players for Astralis here. He is none the wiser. Just trying to cover himself. he has got mid picks. That's the round. That might oh, just be it. Yeah, Two quick kills the towards bomb the B bomb site. And you know the in-game leader screaming, run B. Yeah, it, it wasn't your original plan, but then you get given those two kills on a silver platter and it's like, well, <laughs> yeah, you know, sorry, Magix, you're probably screwed, but we're going to win the round, right? And that's what matters. Uh, he gets left and fed to the wolves over at long, but it doesn't matter, right? The, the, the thing that matters is locking in this 8-3 scoreline. You've done that, you've kept yeah. it safe. And, you and know, it that's... all comes on the back of those two B picks and just the immediate decision to go, well, yeah. we know B's clear now. That's a rare catch, right? Because think about how many of these rounds Spirit have you know, taken long like that and they've committed with it. They've put four or five players there and they've yeah. actually followed through eventually, albeit with maybe some slowdown once they get the corner control. Well, this time they, they do the same you know, protocol. They throw out the corner smoke, they get the flashes, they get magis or magics. God, that's going to keep me tripping all day. Yeah, they man. get magics They behind. did this to you for the first yeah, day. Exactly. Here you go. It's fine. It's like the, the hardest names exactly. right away. Uh, they, they get magics behind Bluebin and then at that point Astralis are thinking, well, it's, a, it's another long tape for Spirit. It's another commitment and they just try to jump over mid on those roads so that's what's going to catch them off guard. Yeah, there was an interesting change here for Astralis, right? You, you touched upon how Glaive was taking the AWP over Lucky. Well, we've kind of seen Glaive, you know, like, as mentioned, when Device originally first left, he was donning that AWP towards the crossroads. He takes it there in this round. I think, you know, hoping he can solve some of these problems at the A-bomb set. There was also the triple long yeah. push from Astralis. Rifles up close. So you have that AWP yeah. there to supplement the push, right? Well, it's hanging on by a thread. If they lose this round, their money is in the bin. Spirit foaming at the mouth at that prospect. Lucky taking some serious space. Got to watch out for Lower. He's got a smoke to play with, but won't be here forever. Oh, dude, there's just something about Dexter and the angles that this guy holds as well. Like, when we just looked at him there in the tunnels, it's so grimy, man. Like, he's watching for this lower tunnel push. They don't have the mid-info, and they and they saw that there was that smoke down, you know, that Lucky was playing around. So they're instantly suspicious of it. They're instantly suspicious of a potential lower play, and they're just sweating the clock in that sense, right? They're kind of saying, look, if, if you want to try this, uh, this, this mid-aggression, 
you're going to feed us a kill, right? We're going to turn it against you. And now that they haven't been pushed, they haven't seen anything here, this is where they start to come to the conclusion, okay, he didn't push lower tunnels. The smoke was there, maybe he was around, but he's certainly not here anymore. And so they've cleared out the lower tons. They've got catwalk. This is a lot of map control for Team Spirit to have. They haven't really had to, uh, you know, expel all this utility yet either in clearing a lot of these positions. Yeah, it seems like they're just going to try and do a, a basic cat fake here with a bit of util and then pop into B. I wonder if Astralis will, you know, change positions if they'll fall for this again, right? If that long take in the past made them rotate off B, how will the cat take do it? Still two players in the bomb site, util getting dropped. That's a big spot for Lucky. He sees them going back to the B site. He can come that along and Astralis know what's up. Oh dear. Yeah, there's very little time here as well. They're waiting for the molly to fade. They decide not to smoke it, but now they've really got to go. They've got to pick up the pace and get into B. Still a man in the sight. Oh, a second even dropping in, but Dexter's no going to knock out Lucky. There's oh, no time. Maybe. Oh, it's close. It's down to like the nearest no. second, but no, Astralis, they do get that round on the back of the time. Yeah, that last second Molotov, man, right? Those B players have been waiting all game to not only use them in retakes, but maybe, just maybe, a last second B rush. And with 20 seconds, a Molotov coming into the tunnels, Mate, that it, causes so many problems. It's brutal as well, because they, they had a smoke. They were holding a smoke over the Molotov. And then I, yeah, I, think, doubt, the cool, yeah. I think the cool just comes in. Like, look, if we smoke this and run through, like, we're dead. And I know we kind of have to, but maybe we can play with the timings. And they knew they had to get those kills right away. I think it was the appearance of that third man the AWP in the back yeah. of the site that kind of surprised them. And then with the molly, they just didn't have the time. Yeah, good spot for Lucky, right? Getting that early info that, no, this cat take is not real. And that almost was for Degster. Catching a player retreating back from long. Glaive will live to fight another moment. Lucky's up on cat and he's joined by many men. Stralis with a triple short setup. Could even flash this corner. Bubsky's playing anti right now. He'll peek on Lucky's shot. Flash goes in, Bubsky starts to move, he clears it out. But is this all misinformation? Team Spirit are heading towards a long position with four. Some by Young lurking around lower, looking once again to deny this aggression. They know that Astralis seem to know what's going on, right? Bubsky even flanked long in the previous round, so you do want someone, somewhere, to stop those kind of plays, and Sunday Young is the man for the job. Spirit starting to make moves up long, and Astralis, they will know what's up, but how can they really stop it? Smokes are yet to come in. It's going to be very late. They are lining them up now as we speak. And remember, Astralis have one bit of utility in this entire round. They've got to do it off gunfights and gunfights alone. Yeah, they've at least got all these players, all these bodies up in the right place. Oh. We have smoke dropped here from the AWP of Lucky on short. He's trying to play around it. This was the one bit of utility that they had. Oh. And so you better hope that Lucky can deliver on the wow. back of it. Bubsky catches the, uh, the, sh the short side rotation in the meantime. And Lucky still dodging his way in and out of this smoke. He's just being a nuisance, right? He's still applying so much pressure. Oh, oh Dexter going to get swung from CT. And it's Dupree in with a double. Lovely. Lucky locks it in. And Astralis up onto five. That was a, a wonderful little rounder yeah. out of Lucky Dupree. Looking good as well. Sorry, Hugo, you want to come in with something? Yeah, no, I was just going to say, that's the smoke. Lucky drops a little smoke that Simple always uses there, right? He, he's been doing that as of late, dropping that just on the catwalk. It means you're not just constricted to playing on the cat box on the corner. So many teams, you know, if they don't have short, they'll just get mollied off, they'll get pushed back, forced to play retic. It lets you actually commit to fighting 4A in this position, and Lucky gets a good bit of value out of that as well. He drops the bomb in this kill here. Really, really nice stuff. Poor Dexter as well. Molly's out a player yeah. back of Gandalf. He's Double trying scopes. to help his teammates. Yeah. And, Would uh, have had that kill locked in, but swung oh. from Dupree and lower as soon as he double scopes. The, uh, you know, that, that, that smoke that you talk about, right? The one that Lucky drops, the one that we see Simple use, it, it kind of reminds me of, you know, like the the Ooh. inferno, like backside pillar smoke, right? Where sure. it kind of, you know, over at B, it just gives you a wider playing area. Oh, look at this, over at the long doors, Lucky is trying his hands at this aggression again. That means that Glaive is now donning the AW and between the two of them, they're going to both nail a kill out of the gate. Team Spirit are down to three players. They've got this mid control. That's something. 
But they're kind of clutching at straws here. Two smokes, they do have enough to get past, but they've still got to break apart this double behold of Dupree and Magis. Oh, they will do indeed. It's coming to them though, Sunday Young, and he's not ready. Dead to Dupree, now they can double back. They know one half the split is gone, and Spirit need to fight their way through the Molotov Magics with the kill, but Dexter has to go through the flames, and he won't live to fight it. Gets the frag, but burnt out right at the end, and that's uh, enough for Astralis, that's a round. They're happy with it, looking for seven at the end of the half. That'd be a good CT side. You'd be happy with that, especially considering how this game started. 5-0 for Spirit, 7-2 up. And Astralis have really had quite the recovery here. Yeah, no, it's been great to see that they still have that resilience, right? In spite of the changes, in spite of the kind of, you know, hands you get dealt, you still hold on to that champion quality of being able to... Uh, pull games back from a very one-sided start. Yeah, and the best part about that, Harry, is it's not like they've even ha had the caveat of, oh, yeah, they broke Spirit's money, they put them on pistols, no, and mate, then they yeah. took a couple of rounds. No, Spirit have bought every single round of this game. We have not seen a, an eco out of Spirit. This is the worst buy they've had since the rifle rounds have happened. So, you know, that's super impressive for Astralis that they've gotten through this AWP of Dexter and the full util every time. Fast B play now to close out the half team. Spirit Pace is looking to be their ally, but oh no. Majesk and Glaive, Dupree been coming in. It's a party. Oh man, it's the old guard of Astralis holding down this B bomb site. Team Spirit set packing. They never even get through, you know, the, the, the bouncer at the door. They're turned away at the entrance of the club, and now their night's ruined. Two on five. What could they even begin to do here, Hugo? Spirit didn't RSVP, clearly. Not invited, turned down at the door. Wrong trainers for this club. And the molly makes things worse. That might even get hurt. Dexter, hello. Doesn't want to burn out two rounds in a row. Maybe give me the scout back, mate. I'm low as well. But at this point, I think Spirit know better than anyone. This is a done deal. A couple of bullets from Majisk will seal this fate. And it seems like Astralis are on to seven with five alive at the end of the half. That's it. Beautiful stuff. Astralis, a recovery. Prediction. I'm worried for the Team Spirit boys. Yeah, some of the naysayers for Astralis were even calling the 16-0 at 5-0. But where are they now? It's a good little comeback. But will it last long? Astralis on a pistol round. Lucky with a P250, but it's not armored. He's got the grenades as well, sending his team up for success. But in no hurry to do so. Mere flash into middle. They're coming out lower. No one's blinded by it, and he decides to back up. They could be on cat. He's got to cool that over. It's even forced a smoke out of Magics on that A site. Long being held from the car. Dexter having a, a really good game right now. And Team Spirit even got to re-aggress on Long. They got a flash to do this, but lucky with a tap. Oh, lovely stuff. The flash is in, and Ma Magics responds as well with a quick kill. Do they know about Glade behind the bin? More flashes, and from either side, everyone's oh. battling for this position. Oh. And the USPs are coming out on top. Oh. Double with Chopper. Magics from range with the Glock. Keeps this round up in the air, but the bomb is under control of Spirit. Yeah, this is so weird, man. They've traded places. That bomb control is everything for Astralis, <laughs> and with a player crossed out to behind the blue bin, we're going to be hard-pressed to get this bomb back. The nade oh, goes no. in. Magisk's Glock oh, no. is just built different. It taps out Mir, and now it's all some die young. On B2, and he's going to reroute entirely, leaving the long doors, conceding control of that bomb to Astralis. He's now playing this as a 1v2 retake into the A bomb site. Oh, he's got a quick kill. Dupree's plotting in the middle of the site. Sunday Young hunting him down, and he's done some damage. Dupree trying to stall, just trying to survive. And Sunday Young caught it. The shot he finally does. It's not oh! open. It's a safe plan. He could stick it, but no kit. Does he really uh -oh. want to play with fire? Faking it out. Majisk is moving in. Sunday Young waiting for the right time to strike. Oh! But Majisk does it with every. Everything, the Glock, the USP, nothing holds him back. And Astralis find the pistol round. Four kills out of Magist to make that happen. The majority coming off of long-range Glock kills. Guy Ooh. just takes the round by storm. And now Astralis have tied this game up. Suddenly, you can put that, that hell of a start we had it, you know, from Team Spirit to the back of your minds. This is competitive again. And the sleeping giant of Astralis, well, they might be getting their stretches in. They might have woken up after all. Okay, Dex. Reasonable. <laughs> Poor Lucky, bro. That I'm is, lucky, bro. That is devastating. All right. They're still going to commit. They're not scared away, but maybe they should yeah, be. Maybe oh, they no. should. Oh, my God, the Deagle. Magic's with three. They just feed the beast. 
They feed him on short. Dupree is a dead man walking, and the Deagles what? get it done. Team Spirit. <laughs> All right, all right, we see you. We see you, Team Spirit. Yeah, we haven't really had to see any of their, you know, force buys or ecos this game, right? They're, they're never fun on Dust2 on either half, but Spirit, they finally lose a pistol. They're put down to pistols themselves, and they get it done. Lovely start from Dexter, and just, you know, that wasn't Deagle body spam. Double headshot, and then the body shot for Magix. Precision. And Astralis, right back to right. Deagles of their own. Okay, Bobski. Can he land? A mid doors shot. No He's not getting a face, so you know the statistics would lean towards no on this one. Yeah, the Deagle buy for Astralis. It's not looking Ooh. as impactful as Team Spirits. It's kind of just been broken down. This is an all-in investment as well. You know they're taking a, a full block round in the follow-up, so this scoreline is going to get even bigger. <laughs> Dex is trolling today, man. He's run through so many Molotovs. He goes from 100 to 20 by just running through his own Molly in mid, just trying to hunt that final kill. Get those stats looking nice and pretty. 2K, uh, 2KD right now for him. And luckily, it won't cost him anything. Spirit hold on to all these rifles, including many of Astralis's. And now we have a block eco. It won't be fun. It's going to get worse before it gets better. 11 to 8 is likely to score. And so let's at least make this quick. Yeah, I mean, it's the least they could do. And, well, they're doing it. So, yeah, <laughs> shout out Astralis one time. Respect. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Dexter got his ecos after all. Yeah, man, Dexter's happy. Miz content as well. He gets a couple in there just for good measure. Oh, hello. Little team economy graph. Yeah, shout out Coinbase one time. That's pretty nifty. That's pretty cool. Yeah, money bolstered for Spirit, and they've still got the AKs and Galils in play as well. So, it, argument to be made that Astralis are more well, well armed in this round, right? But the AWP is here on either side, and Dex has really been putting his to good use. That was one of our big questions today, and he has answered every single time. Lucky finding out the hard way right now. Lurk on B for Majisk. Keeping up presence. And he's got no more nades to sell this fake, so Astralis will need to go soon. Oh, dear. Lovely yeah. contact play. Yeah, right? Nothing to give away the element of this push, right? You have the element of surprise, rather, the entire time. Now Dexter has wisened up to this, and he's at least taken one to the grave with this A push, right? It leaves you in a four on four. This is now like a lot more retakeable. You're a lot more tempted. If this was a five on four exec into the site, you might just lean into yeah. a save from the get go. So Dexter's at least given them a reason to consider this round, but whether or not they're gonna go for it really comes down to Majisk who goes running in through middle. Now they're like, all right, boys, screw it, let's go. Oh, no. And Sam Dayan comes in with another. They're deciding to do this at the final couple of seconds. The doors are closing and Team Spirit are knocking them open. Oh. There it is, Mir with a double. There's very little time left, but should I have think it. they've just about got it. Wow. 12 on the board for Team Spirit. Yeah. And I they get invited back in. <laughs> they get invited back in. They were saving. Yeah, I think they, I, I, to be honest, I think they always wanted that. They had a couple of players outside long ready, and, and they were aware of Magist. That was the key. They were looking T-spawn. They were aware that he'd thrown Util into B. And the reason Spirit were aware of that is because they pushed in through mid after the fact. They knew that he couldn't have rotated back up the catwalk. He had to be coming in late from spawn. So Sunday Young waits top mid. He grabs that kill as Magist throws himself into what he feels like is a free round. And then boom, suddenly, like you said, the doors are off. Spirit, my goodness, that's not a round they should ever be winning. But great work from them. This is kind of scary now because you think about how these buy rounds have gone for Astralis. Well, they won the pistol, they lost the anti-force buy in the second, then they come back in with guns there. They have a round that looked like it was locked in, and then there's that last second retake. Now both rifle rounds have kind of, you know, fallen apart in a very, very rough way. Yeah, and these won't be any easier. You know, you don't get many rifle rounds here with this scoreline starting to build up against you. You don't have many left to play. With the first two falling apart so direly, it's going to come oh down dear. into this B push with the, with the Deagles, with the pistols. Bobski okay. opens up. Some die young is in a bit of a rough spot here. Combat AWP oh, in, and no. they're all around him. The AWP's given over now. That's put into the hands of Bobski. Hello. Chopper has managed to drop the bomb. 
Three on three. The bomb's out in the open. And that no makes way. Is he going to go through? The you madman. He's flashed in. And yeah, maybe that is a little overzealous. Magisk Deagle churning through Team Spirit. And Dexter, oh. oh, okay. Now down to the 1v1. Lucky, talk about a trial by fire. The new Orper on Astralis going blow for blow with seasoned veteran Dexter. Yes. And Lucky's gonna close it out. What? Astralis are up onto nine. And this series, this map, oh, it's a wild one. Lucky's a madman. He picked up an orb parry and he stayed on the P250. He's like, yeah, I only need one bullet. And it's not from the cannon. Holds the door. He knows Dexter's aggressive. He knows what this guy's like. Dexter just wants to get involved, man. Throws himself back into the final fight of the round, trying to catch Lucky going for the bomb. And he would not make that mistake. Yeah, it's a crazy play, but it looks mad. Spirit going in through, but I think they realize in that four on four, like if we give, or three on three, if we, if we give away the bomb, if we let them plant, we are locked out of this bomb site. We've already given them an orb and a rifle. They can set up, and we know what Stralis' post plants usually are like. Let's forget the round prior. And so Spirit, they try and throw themselves in and it almost works, but Astralis have won a bit of a force by. They're back in. That's got to feel good, a sigh of relief. As it felt like this game may have been slipping away, like you said, off the back of Eco wins. And tossed no. away rounds. Yeah, it, it, that's like a great little, you know, kind of momentum break yeah. for Astralis, we'll call it, right? Like they... They'd had these two rifle rounds that had both had really, really dismal endings that you know hadn't panned out at all. Well, then they're able to you know kind of take one back against Team Spirit. They come into that round with very, very little. They come out with a victory, and now you know not only are they fielding that much more here, but it's just a bit of a confidence booster knowing that you can get those rounds over the line. Here's oh, another one of these goodness. B plays. They're running it down through tunnels into some oh. die young. Magis taps him out. So now we look at Car. Now they we know. look at Mir. We look at this one guy. Oh. Alone. Matt just tries to go over, but Mir is digging graves. He puts two in it. Dupree and Lucky are left up in this one. And with kills coming in between the two of them, they've left it in even odds. This bomb can't go down yet. Dupree needs to get in through the tunnels. Needs to be here to help his teammate out. And so now he's in position. Lucky will have that bomb plant denied because of the Molotov for the time being. He's burnt very, very low in it. It's a tunnels post plant, so Dupree can play around this in the long run. Team Spirit taking their time. They fake the lower tunnels rotation and now group back up, looking to come in through mid. Yeah, Stralis aren't falling for it though. Dupree still watching on towards the doors and he's going to get his first sign of contact, gets the kill as well. Dexter might just have to save, call it unless they feed you at the last possible second. There's surely no way back in. He's at least got Dupree's position. Quick kill, Dupree has his knife out. He thinks it's done. It is far from it. Dexter has a kit. He just needs an immediate shot. And frankly, there's no time. Kill or not, it's an Astralis round. Lucky playing with his food and making sure Dexter dies with him. He will. 10 rounds to Astralis. Lovely stall out of Lucky. Dupree almost gives that round away. And we're getting, we're getting scared for Astralis in some of these rounds. Yeah. They seem to be calling it off yeah, very early. And that's the thing, you know, like, uh, Astralis aren't getting respected the same way they used to, right? Like, yeah. you know, uh, may maybe maybe if this was Astralis from a few years ago, yeah, you would have been saving there. You would have gone, jeez, yeah. I mean, 1v2? No, I'm good, mate. I'm, uh, I'm fine, actually. <laughs> Dupree still alive? Yeah, no, nah, I'm but good. That's now two 1v1 clutches that Lucky has the locked Lucky, in. right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and both times as well, it's versus Dexter on the other side. His yeah. orping counter. Apart. And so that's pretty enticing, especially because I think when you look at like pound for pound firepower, Dexter has been coming out ahead there. But in terms of winning these last few rounds, it's been all lucky. Yeah, Bubsky's really having a mare today. Five and 15, not the start you would have wanted. Still time to recover. There's still time to find impact in this matchup. Astralis is just trying to hang on. Flashes out long, double setup. Spirit are here. Molly goes in, Glaive's trying to get that headshot angle. Now they've been drawn in. Will they be ready for the second man? Magix ready to repeat. The Molly goes deep. Chopper has his contact, so Magix does not need to worry. And Dex is not going aggressive enough to get caught by this orb. With the corner smoke, Astralis don't need to worry about it either. Bobski trying to get caught with nades out. Dropping a smoke. Dexter will catch that cat play. Double down for Dexter, and he knows Long's on lock with two more CTs there. Astralis go elsewhere. Back to catwalk. Mir's spotted it, and he won't be giving them any way back into this middle. All his util down at the right time, and Astralis, how do they get out of here? 
Oh, Bobski, this could be a round save in play. He does remove one, right? It looked like it could have been the lineup. Yeah. He doesn't get the double, but still, a three on four feels infinitely better than the three on five you were just in. Suddenly, Team Spirit are kind of hunkering down a little bit more. They're trying oh. to piece together what's happening now, and they spot the bomb over here in the B tunnels. They see a mid to B player as well. They're piecing together the B play, and some Dai Young has now dropped the bomb. With just 10 seconds left, Whoa. as good as lucky he's been yeah. in the clutches, he can't win this one. So it's 13 on the board for Team Spirit. They bite back right away. And something I do want to draw some attention to, right? When we were talking about Lucky Zorp in that first half, when he was playing over at the crossroads, very, very rarely would you see any kills on these crossing players. Dexter, every time we've had these cat plays come in, it feels like he's been good for at least a double. And this round is a great example of that. Like, Astralis were just left up the creek without a paddle the moment they lose that short prong to the attack. Yeah, nothing about that round went to plan for Astralis, right? Think about not only the boost, right? No one peeked into it. Dexter played super passive and didn't give away that opportunity. But even the double long setup, Astralis are out long and they're wondering, why is this pit player not re-peaking? He should be scared that we're walking up on him. Maybe they suspect that there's a second man there, right? That's the reason that Magix is playing... Or yeah, Magic's playing so safe because Chopper has his corner. And at that point, Astralis, well, they lose the cat play. They can't get on the long cross either. They don't know where that second man is. And at that point, everything's just falling apart at the, at the seams. It's a nice try. We're back to the drawing board. And right now, Astralis working with some felt tips. The Eagles. One that saved AWP. And Bubsky's at least bought a rifle. Maybe that can get his head back into it. Mate, felt tips, that takes me blue when you <laughs> chew the ends off. Not always blue, obviously, it depended on yeah, the colour yeah. of the felt tip. All right. This is still a winnable round, right? It may not look pretty. Your one danger is it's dust too. You're not going to be giving these positions where CTs are overzealous and give you weapons and then you're suddenly armed. You've got to commit in order to get the kills in so many situations. So Lucky is really tasked with a lot of pressure in this round to find opening kills. Astralis have two flashbangs to set him up. He's holding down on long. Magix is here. Dex is orping the cross yet again. Had no problem doing so, as you said. It will be this A split for Astralis. And Dex has now moved back in on long to support Magix. Right place, right time, but will he hit the shot? Not yet. No, mate, they're out of there, dude. The molly forces them back, and it, probably for the best, right? Yeah. The only other alternative there was you commit through the Molotov, and then you were in for a really bad time. They're going to get sent over here towards Cat. I think they're probably going to have a better time over here on the Catwalk. That little Molotov pushing them back might have actually led them to greener pastures, right? Dexter, he's kind of swinging back and forth between supporting Long because of Magix's forward position. Sweaty. But he's also having to come back and help out at the A site. So timing's everything for Dexter. He is here to help out. He's throwing flashes for Chopper to take this peak. But a kill's not found. And in fact, all the damage is dealt the way of Chopper at ramp. They know he's here now. The bomb has snuck up into the site on Glaive. He's taken like a, a pacifist approach. He's just bomb out, sneak up, get it planted. And now Astralis Wonderful. have got a five on five post plant. This is weird. Very strange indeed. And no utility gets Spirit back in. That was a one flash to go and a smoke remaining. Lucky gets the first oh. blood late in the yeah, round. And now he's got to turn around. He can't get any kills. There's so many players facing. Lucky has cover and he's providing the goods. Two kills, some die young the same. Oh. And Dexter comes back in alive, knowing Glaive was the guy to plant that bomb. He's got to fight him with oh. a pistol. And so he shall. Oh. 14 rounds, Dexter clutches it out against Astralis. Nice try with the Deagles. But nice try won't get you anywhere. Man, that's insane as well. Like, it, it's so last second, mate. Like, you, you don't have anyone to come and clear short. You know that the bomb was planted for Catwalk. It was the only place they could have planted it for. You had a very, very good idea of where Astralis were in that post plant. But as they start to creep up through CT, it's the sheer number of players oh. that are just facing from Cat that I thought was going to surprise yeah, Team Spirit. Definitely. Dexter does this incredible job of trading out these kills. And Sundai Young as well. We just saw on the replay the quick double tap left right gets two deagles out of there immediately so you know huge from him ak picked up put to good use no dinks allowed where we're from now triple mp9 that was a costly round for spirit right they're not exactly rich this is still one that astralis can keep in the back of their mind those mp9s they chew through armorless players 
at the best of times. Good grenade. Oh, no, it's not. It looked like it. Majisk barely tagged up. Chopper now up for the job. And oh he's going to do exactly oh, what we need him to. Money, baby. Here it is. Big cash. <laughs> Big chopper. <laughs> oh. And now just do pre with a little deagle. Big dreams. Oh my god, yeah. And Biggie falls down into mid. It's Chopper finding that one. 15 to 10. Team Spirit over on their CT side. They need to deal one more round to find that killing blow to Astralis on Team Spirit's map pick. Yeah, and that's probably a surprise that round as well, right? Even though Astralis probably made the call, like, yeah, money's low, they won't have a lot. But maybe they thought that they would substitute a utility, right, rather than the uh, rifles. They went for SMGs. And that's the first time Spirit have actually thrown themselves in and started fighting. They know they are able to, right, with Astralis broke. But uh, Astralis have not have to face anyone on Catwalk this entire T side. And now Dexter. He's tasted blood in the water, and he wants more. Oh, he hit that shot. Glaive gets tagged up, but the winner is Glaive. Taking the frag, and Dupree follows up through the smoke. Double entry. The Danes needed it more than anything. And there it is, leaving the worst weapons worse for wear here for Team Spirit. They're going to group up in middle and try to put a stop to this play. Yeah, this could still get uncomfortable, right? Like... You kind of have not much to lose here, in a sense, if your team spirit. You're already at such a big disadvantage. This was also like a bit of a bonus round attempt with a lot of the MP9 still in play. And so they, they, they move across while this mid control is still hanging in the balance. They reinforce this B bomb site. And I don't think Magix was spotted crossing mid. I think he hit a bit of a timing around that smoke that was down. So are Astralis aware of this double B-hold? Because it looked like originally that's where they wanted to end up. But now I think we're seeing the, the winds of change are blowing. And they're blowing east. Back up Cat. No one here to stop him. Chopper locked out in spawn. And he doesn't even know as well as Astralis, man. They've had the, the perfect rounds to contact play into A have been the ones they've called it in. And yeah, this should, should never have really been a round that Astralis would lose. And so it will not be. Bomb gets planted. And with no kit, Spirit are already leaning away to try and save what they've got. Just when you think Spirit are ready to shut down this first map of the series, Astralis show us just that little bit more. And keep the game raring to go. Remember, this is Spirit's map pick as well, right? Uh, Inferno coming up next. They're certainly going to have trouble there getting through Astralis device or not. This is still the same core, the same core to be afraid of on that map. So, Spirit, they don't want to go to overtime. They don't want to get any more sweaty than they have to. And so saving these three guns at least allows a rebuy in the follow-up. One more opportunity, one more chance. Yeah, it's if that one goes against them that I start to get a little bit worried, right? Because at that point, the, you know, they, they've got this full investment coming in and depending on what they're able to save will really affect if, like, we're going to see one or two more rifle rounds on the back of, you know, a, a loss in this one. But, but it is scary, right? When it's like, when those are the hairs you're splitting, when it's like, oh, you know, say we take an L here, Potentially, you only have like one or two more chances to actually win the game, even though the scoreline feels a little, a little wider than that margin. Astralis are by no means out of the runnings yet to pull this back. And once again, they're just settling back into some of this very like slow, patient mid control work in some of the longer angles, seeing if Team Spirit go for any, you know, info plays, be it a tunnels push, be it a, a peek through the mid doors. And it was just the plan from the get-go for Astralis to hold this default. The bomb was left back in T-spawn. Bubski goes back to get it and now rejoins Magisk down here in the tunnels. The rest of Astralis are taking cap. And so this is looking like you're going to fake a bit of an A play, fall back into a B site execute. Question is, how much did Team Spirit fall for? Or if at all. They still got a molly to stop this B play. And so Astralis can't afford to leave this to the last couple of seconds here. They've still got to throw some sort of cat fake first. In fact, Glaive's already doubling back as Dupree set his eye on the A site. No picks been given over. Team Spirit are at least peeking together on this one line. Sun Dayong might be a dead man, but even if he is, Mir should have that trade. Flash into middle, Glaive just clearing it out on his own. Joined by Dupree. 
He drops the smoke. It's well timed. He's got to go back and check middle. That leaves Sunday Young alone. Chopper does draw one in, and Mir helps out as well. Sunday Young. This could be the beginning of the end. Oh. In fact, it might just be the end. There it is. Spirit locking in.